uh, it's 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 good that you would uh, you could stop over for lunch um, when you came up from Buena Vista, Georgia. My pleasure. And uh, how did, did everything go all right at the University of Chicago when they uh, did you, you have a kind of a semi-annual physical there? You okay? <clears throat> Pardon me, you okay? Pretty much okay. Um, the the thing that I wanted to talk to you about is. Um, Probably it's been almost eight eight months since we were all down in Atlanta, down at down the hatch, and you were having your 90th birthday party. Okay. And everybody came in. Uh, I interviewed or did a little spot interview, mm -hmm. and uh, one of the people that that I've met several times is uh, is Betsy. Can you tell um, those people who are reading and watching this video on my webpage who Betsy is and how you're related to Betsy? Betsy's my granddaughter. Um, she's my uh, uh, youngest daughter, youngest child's um, daughter. Um, she lives in Evanston, Illinois. Um, She's a graduate of University of Chicago, no, no, University of Illinois, uh, Chicago campus, uh, the Four Point, uh, neuroscience, and uh, um, she has been active working with an organization at, at the university um, uh, with uh, uh, women's problems. Um, Oh, you know. But but she's she's doing that right now, or she was doing that. What is she? Right now, she's working at the University of Chicago uh, lab, um, um, studying the, the reactions of mice. Um, I think uh, the, the thing we sort of joke about in the family is. She's busy cutting off the heads of mice. <laughs> it's a, I suppose that's logical because to study the brains of mice, you'd have to look at some of the connections, I suppose. And um, um, so now she has uh, left, left that job. And where's she going? She's been ac accepted at the University um, Ohio State University um, Medical School. Puts her in the same area as my my brother, who is a year older than I. He's a retired uh, neurosurgeon, and um, I I hope that there will be a relationship growing there. He has uh, a daughter about, about Betsy's age. We have now uh, begun to call Betsy Elizabeth. Uh, and why is that? And that's because. Um, her medical, her school records now will be in, in the name of, you know, uh, when she graduates. Uh, and then, of course, she'll go on to other, I really don't know what other schools she will go to. Um, well, she's got a handful of years at yes, Ohio State. Yes, it's a long row ahead. Um, but, um, a prayer apparently her gaucho uh, friend intends to stay with her. And and uh, nobody knows who her gaucho friend is. Who is he? And where is he from? Okay, uh, William Trifolo is from uh, southern Brazil, uh, uh, somewhere south of uh, Rio. And um, she's making signs. Does that mean anything? Um, and, and uh, he's a he's a qualified veterinarian, and uh, she, she is heading into a, a, a doctor. And um, as a couple, they'll be a powerhouse, really. Um, but before before we go, and, and I just thought about this. I don't. I, you know, I know Betsy, but I don't. I don't think that. I don't think I could tell you how she met. William. 
I'm not sure I could tell you either, uh, except uh, roughly, it was a, uh, it was a, one of those things that she was doing with the University of Illinois in Chicago. Um, that, that, that she was, uh, that there was she was counseling uh, battered women, and, and she was uh, teaching language, and uh, apparently he signed up, and he became one of her her students, and that's about all I. Uh, I uh, it's it just, something like that. Yeah, it just dawned on me of it. I've talked about him so many times on it. Where'd he come from? <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I know where he's geographically from, but I didn't know how they met. So he and she are going to uh, Columbus. In mm -hmm. fact, they might be there now, aren't they? Are they? Um, I think they're, no, they're not there now. Um, I'm not sure that he's back yet from Brazil, uh, but they're, they're, they're waiting to, I don't know, I, I'm a little fuzzy on this. We have furnishings at the house uh, for them to take. Um, I don't even know how those furnishings are going to get there. I had sort of thought that uh, um, uh, Caleb, my grandson, would have time to be the... You could drive out there? Be, be the conduit and bring things. Um, um, because they, there's a bed at our house that she would like. There's a rocking chair that she would like. I have a short list of things that Betsy would like. And, uh, and, um, and then, you know, just kitchen equipment. Um, well, they're starting a life together. And Say what? They're starting a life together. And yes, yes. Oh, he, oh, they're engaged, you know. Mm -hmm. She's wearing his ring now. And uh, um, I, I, I just hope she's not gotten married to him while she was <laughs> down there without the family around, but uh, whatever. But, but Things are but, different this generation. <laughs> Things are different in, our, in the, the younger generation than they were in, in our generation. Yeah. Yes, yes. But she, uh, she's down there meeting the family, isn't she? I'm sorry? Isn't Betsy down there with him? She, she's been visiting his family oh, well, a couple of weeks, I think it is. And uh, that's an expensive trip. It's a long trip. And uh, yes. I don't know where all this money is coming from. But uh, we, will, we will supply them with uh, some basics, uh, maybe a rug for the floor. I, I don't know that it's a very big apartment. But her medical school starts in August, doesn't it? Yes, August um, 6th, I think. So and she's she's got less than a month. Yep, to get to get uh, organized there. No. Nah. And uh, in that length of time, he needs to find a, a job. I don't know if it would be a, in a veterinary capacity. Um, there's a, a, a well-established zoo in Columbus, Ohio. Um, maybe there would be work for him to do there. Um, but uh, his, his training is in large animal as opposed to the small animal trade. Uh, so I don't think he would uh, deal with monkeys or, <laughs> or lemurs or whatever's. But, but what, is his, what do his parents do? What do his parents do? Yeah, I know what his parents do, but... Yeah, if yeah, they, uh, his parents have a ranch of uh, longhorn cattle. So that... Longhorn is... cattle in, um, in Brazil. And um, um, his aunt and uncle are marine biologists, um, and they have come to uh, the States. They, they live in California. And um, when he first arrived, um, he, he went to visit his aunt and uncle, and then he and Betsy did uh, some traveling, well, you know, hitting high spots of interest to tourists mm -hmm. and interest. Uh, um, and uh, they are well acquainted by now, <laughs> day in and day out, and day in and day out for a good while, well, and, and that's good. They 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 know that that's. Doable, doable. 
And, and what, what's interesting about Betsy is that she's a firstborn, mm -hmm. but she is very vivacious, very outgoing. Oh, yes. And I'm a firstborn. And, boy. and, and firstborns are, are likely, is she on your lap? <laughs> yes. Is she? Yes, she's. Oh, good heavens. <laughs> Ginger the lap dog. That's wonderful. Ginger. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, I love it. I'm okay. gonna, what, we, we're, we're just going to, I'm going to borrow this camera a second. Oh, Ginger, go back where you were. Okay, Ginger, can you say hello? Ginger. You like Shelly? Oh. oh, yes. Okay, now, Ginger, could you do me a favor? She knows he loves dogs. <laughs> okay, I'm going to give this back to Shelly, and now, Ginger, you're going to sit down. Come on. Come on. I know. You can sit on her lap afterwards. I'm going to sit down. <laughs> Off. Um, so we were describing Betsy as firstborn. Um, she is um, uh, uh, typical of firstborn. Uh, um, well, she's driven to, to be more, more ambitious, more yeah, driven is the word. Here we go. <laughs> Ginger, we're gonna send you down. That was a nice kiss. That was good. Yeah, you step on my lap. Come on. Okay. And and so in addition to. Uh, Firstborn, um, but firstborns are driven and they're, they're, they're very competitive and all that kind of stuff. But <laughs> Ginger, we're, but the thing is, it amazes me about her is that she she could talk to anybody, uh, if she, if, even if she didn't know it. Yes. I mean, if she if she didn't know who I was, yes, if she could, uh, and that's not a typical Ginger. I'm going to send you down your crate. Do you understand that? Okay, now you go over and sit down in your bed. Okay, you go sit in your bed. Come on. You're a good girl. And then, then we'll play with you later. And now, Ginger. Come on, going around we go. Okay. <laughs> Just a second, shall we? We'll be right with you. Let's that Stay. Okay. Are we, so, still, are we still talking? Yeah, we're still talking, but until um, Ginger comes up and interrupts us again. But um, um, in addition to these uh, firstborn qualities that we know about, um, uh, she has um, 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 uh, not an hour blouse. She has a, a good figure and a lovely face and a lovely manner and. Uh, um, she likes people, and uh, whatever medicine she goes into, uh, I, I think some of those qualities will be evident. What, what is, do you know what uh, William's uh, birth order is? I'm sorry? Do you know what William's birth order is? Is he, what his birth order is? Is he a firstborn, a middle child, or a baby, or a lastborn? I don't know that. Do you know? No. In fact, I haven't met William. Oh, you didn't meet? Wasn't he there for the 90th birthday? Wasn't he? No, I guess mm -hmm. he wasn't. Um, yeah, but is, is he as is outgoing as she is? Is he? Out, as outgoing as Betsy is? Uh, he is adequately outgoing. He's, he's not effuse. Um, uh, he, he's not like my good husband. Um, you know, Cave was just out there. Yeah, Cave and Everybody Betsy, was his buddy. Yeah, Cave and Betsy would... A, a pretty he, good match, huh? Yeah, they would be clones. Yeah. Um, no, I do not know about birth order. I, I don't even know about brothers or sisters, for that matter. But, um, and do you, know what, do you know what will happen after she gets her, her uh, medical degree? I haven't a clue. Um, or in my brother's case, it was you'd get that degree and then he'd off to another school for another specialty and then off to a third school. Um, I, th I think he, uh, 
he switched only twice. Uh, not switched, but um, added to his his uh, skill. And so, um, as I said, he's a retired neurosurgeon, and his name is is known in the in well in the medical community. I expect he could be of some help to her no, he's, he's, somewhere along the line. I just need to. He, he would be he would be great to have. I mean, they're, they're only going to be half an hour apart or driving time in, in Columbus. No, it's more than that. More? Uh, between his home and, and the campus? Um, no, he, uh, Jack and Charlie live on the north side, um, far north. But, uh, but what, what the, point, the point is that it's close by, it's close enough that if she's having some problems to go yes. Oh, yes. And Dave, yes. Uh, not small problems, not like if if the bed gets stuck on the second floor on the way up to the third floor and if they'd like to be there. Um, but I, I'm comforted to know that at least they're in the same proximity. Um, is there, is there a, if you had to come up with uh, two things, uh, qualities or characteristics would you, would you start again? If you if you had to if you if you had to give Betsy two little morsels of information about what's really critical important critically important for her to do as as a young lady as a young person oh going to school, what would you what would you think that you would tell her that from your experience what what would you tell her that you know, just be careful, or don't do this, or do this. What would be the? Do you have any advice for her? I mean, she, you and I mean, she and you have a very good relationship. Yes, we do. And I. And she would listen, but I don't know that I have anything. Uh, her generation is so different than uh, even talking to her mother, uh, my own daughter. Um, 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 be be there. Be aware. Be useful. Um, you yeah, have a purpose. Life has a purpose. Yes, indeed. And um, 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 because and 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 you know the 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 things that you're going to give her, she will. I mean, she'll treasure, but the really things that you will give her are the memories of your relationship with her. Yes, yes. And, and it would be interesting sometime when Betsy's back here, is to sit down and talk to Betsy about what she remembers about you <laughs> and what she thinks your strengths mm -hmm. are. Yes, yes, yes. Well, so, um, you know she went on a trip with me. Ouch, ouch. <laughs> My finger's acting up again. Um, you know that she went on a, a trip with me to um, um, oh, Italy, principally. It, it was a, a, an intergenerational uh, trip, so there were a number of uh, youngsters approximately her age and, and a surprising number who were exactly her age who were on the cusp of going into college. And several of those <laughs> had applied to Butler University, <laughs> which is my alma mater. And I thought that was kind of interesting. He's, you know, from all around. Going to go to Butler? Okay. Good deal. Um, well, um, but but she, um, she chose um, not, not to. But anyway, she was a good companion on a on a trip to another country. Um, that was. Um, I've taken a couple of other grandchildren on trips. I would like to have taken all of them, um, but I seem to be running out of time. Would you like to go back to Myanmar with me? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know that I would. Uh, it's it's. Pretty it's much, almost a 24-hour flight. Yeah, it's pretty much out of the question, isn't it? 
Yes, if I would be helpful, well, maybe my wallet will be helpful. Maybe that's the only way I can take all the drugs she loves. Oh. Well, I, and Marianne, I really appreciate your willingness to do this. Now we have, how many more grandchildren do we have to? Oh, I have six grandchildren. So you have another five more of these episodes. In there. Three, three grand, grandsons in Atlanta, Georgia, my oldest son, and uh, two uh, grandson and granddaughter in Evanston, with Sarah, my second, and uh, one across the street. Um, David has one son, Caleb. Carries and, on the Caleb Davies name. And you, uh, do you have any um, grandchildren? Those are the grandchildren. Hmm? Or great grandchildren, I'm sorry. Did I do? And what's I, his name? I have one grandson. His name is Isaac. And uh, oh, he looks like a honey. The pictures I'm seeing of him, there's, there's light in his eyes. It's just marvelous. He looks like. Uh, talk to me. Yeah. Uh, tell me something. It's just marvelous. It gives me goosebumps to think about it. I, it is. It is interesting. It's, it, it is interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Ginger, please. Oh, is this funny? It is interesting to see a newborn. I mean, maybe six months old. He's one it, year old. Yeah. He, he, past week. But he is just. He's awake. He's. He is Ready awake. For it, whatever. <laughs> awake is a yeah, word. Well, before Junior drives Shelly crazy. Okay. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. And well. we'll put this up on the web page. Well, I don't know. <laughs> <Turn it off. laughs> okay.